first saw footage for Flint Hook as it neared its release date, I couldn't help but become excited to get a taste of that quirky and appetizing pirate action platforming shooter fun. Yet once I got my hands on my copy, I realized I hadn't quite fully understood what Flint Hook was completely all about. One of the main attributes to what makes Flint Hook itself is the roguelike type features that set this game apart for better or for worse. Developed and produced by Tribute Games, Flint Hook is an action platformer shooter with whatever types of roguelike elements make it classified as such. Now from afar, I thought this was going to be a level by level game and was a bit taken back by it once I dove in. Now that's no fault of the developers or even of the game itself, just fault on me for not doing my homework ahead of time. Now trying to not let that hinder my enjoyment of the game, I press forward hoping to make the most of what already looked to be a beautiful and fun game. Flint Hook is based solely around our protagonist, Captain Flint Hook. Now don't ask me what he is cause I'm really not quite sure, but he's a pirate with the desire to plunder and take down other pirates and pirate bosses. Equipped with your trusty hook shot, Flint Hook can grapple his way through levels quickly avoiding projectiles and sharp obstacles simultaneously. The hook shot is aimed with the right joystick in 360 degrees, and while it does take some time to master, it is quite enjoyable. The goal of the game is to make your way through three procedurally generated pirate ships, uncovering clues that allow you to track down and fight against mean old pirate bosses. If Flint Hook dies at any point when tracking down the clues, the player must start over. Different abilities can be equipped before each level and additional slots can be unlocked. These abilities continue over even after death and allow the player to have some sort of chance at making their way through the game. They range from additional health to longer ability time and power. All power-ups and abilities can either be purchased in shops during levels, awarded in card packs after levels, or purchased on the black market on the main menu. The controls in Flint Hook are pretty solid, and I felt mostly in control throughout. The action gets pretty intense, so having tight and quick reacting controls is a must. The hook shot is fun, and all the blasters shooting can be quite enjoyable. The random levels provide a fun array of challenges and obstacles to dodge and fight throughout. Now visually, Flint Hook is an amazing pixel style game, and honestly my favorite part. So much detail went into every character, set piece, and menu. The visuals and fun art style to me make this game worth picking up, as the artist who worked on Flint Hook did a phenomenal job. Alongside a really cool looking main character, Captain Flint Hook, each enemy has an enjoyable and fun aesthetic to them as well. The music of Flint Hook is also one of its strongest points, really driving the point home about the pixel adventure we are taking part in. I usually find that chiptune style music can only venture so far, but Flint Hook made me second guess that entirely. The music in this game is up there with some of the best recent indie chiptune soundtracks, such as Shovel Knight. Now arguably my biggest complaint with the game is its difficulty. I found myself constantly dying at the hands of the evil pirate crews. While that may be fine for a game such as this, I found it to be a bit much on the front end. Flint Hook takes a while to get comfortable with, mainly the controls and the overall game objective, but I kept having to start the pirate boss hunting process over every time I died. Yes, the game rewards you even after you die, and abilities and such carry over, but it takes a bit of time and determination to get to a point where it feels more realistic to actually make it through three levels without dying. A more gradual difficulty spike as the game progressed would have been a much more welcome and appropriate for the type of game that this is. Overall, Flint Hook is a beautifully crafted game, both visually and audibly, with great character design and great music. While I expected a bit more from the level design and main game objective, fans of the roguelike genre should be pleased. Difficulty frustrated me at times and did a poor job at making me feel the pull to jump back in, especially after dying. As much as I wanted to enjoy this game up front, in the end, I struggled at times to think fondly of my time playing back. 
But regardless of my personal taste and opinions, I know this to be a game that many enjoy. If this style of game looks or sounds appealing to you, I definitely recommend checking it out. I give Flint Hook a 3 out of 5. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe, check out some of our other videos, and visit thenintendovillage.com, your home for everything Nintendo.